Hi guys, welcome back to Soil Science channel at YouTube. I'm Stekense and today I will tell you all news about soil and soil science. This is hot news and if you would like to know what's going on in this field of science and if you are professional or you're just uh, curious about soil science, come on, let's have a look. I opened a very interesting research. So this research was conducted in this year and this is compar comparison of people who try to figure out the soil texture by feeling. So this is typical uh, field uh, type of experiment. When you go to field, you make a cross section and you take small part of soil and then roll a sausage with the soil and you try to figure out uh, what is this texture of texture of the soil? So um, uh, the comparison of sand and clay, and you just feel it by hands. And they conduct very interesting research, and they compared professional soil scientists and newbie soil scientists. You can read this abstract if you like. So basically, it's about comparing two groups of people: uh, very professional soil scientists and newbie soil scientists, like students and newbie soil scientists who are not very, very skilled. And they uh, compared how these people can accurately um, uh, make uh, this experiment. And then they compared the results of these two group of people with chemical analysis in the laboratory. And they realized that all people in field make huge mistakes. Professional soil scientists make it about 80%, but uh, newbie soil scientists make about 20% right uh, of um, the whole pack of analysis. So it's not very accurate, even if professional soil scientists do uh, its experiment. So, and they uh, conclude, the conclusion was like, we have to teach newbies better, <laughs> but if you're professional, uh, you have to use uh, modern technologies, not only rolling the sausage. <laughs> so next very interesting research was, was uh, which conducted this year. Um, it's a big research about soil quality. Uh, it's called soil quality, concept, definition, framework, evaluation, and blah, blah, blah. So here is um, the authors of this research. The research is very interesting. Uh, authors try to figure out how exactly we can evaluate the quality of soil because there are so many concepts uh, is quality of soil is about uh, having a special uh, amount of humus or it's about NPK or it's about pH or it's about whatever so many concepts and they try to figure out all the concepts in one uh, side so that's uh, very interesting and of course the conclusion is like it's very difficult to find uh, to find something some one um, properties but you have to be a very system and uh, take all these properties in different uh, positions. So very interesting video that I have found about cell science which is made recently uh, and it's titled how to recycle your poo <laughs> and it's like let's make our poo back to soil and it's very interesting idea it's not new of course uh, for so many years uh, a menu of um, animals used as a fertilizer as organic fertilizer but uh, there was a question can we use poo of humans also uh, as a fertilizer is it possible? Is it a good idea or bad idea? And they created in the house, in the backyard of the house, they created a special tank uh, for uh, the for the sh for the shit, <laughs> and the, uh, and they put all human shit here, and then they discussed what happened after they use the fertilizers for palm for uh, palm tree in the backyard. Uh, so, of course, there is a lot of problems with using um, even manure of uh, animals. There is huge, uh, big technology to use this manure because there is insects, there is uh, diseases, there is a lot of problems. And of course, with uh, human uh, poo, it's of course a lot of 
troubles, but it's a very interesting video. So we have another very interesting research which was conducted this year. Uh, it's also about making new type of fertilizers from dust, from daily waste water with aluminum water treatment residuals. So the idea is almost the same. You can try to recycle waste which we produce as a humans and we try to use them as a fertilizers. It's of course not a uh, very new idea. This is very uh, um, idea of the rest, I think maybe 20 or 50 years, but uh, this is a new approach and check a look if you um, like something about using waste as a fertilizers. Next. Very interesting, uh, also very interesting uh, research, which conducted, um, which I found this year. It's very, very uh, old, um, very old um, publication, but now it is rising and it is uh, cited so many times and it's became, um, if, if you want to know a lot, everything about history of chemical fertilizer development, this is uh, very interesting. Uh, publication to check. Next, which you have to look, look, this is video about bacteria which was made recently and this is not typical bacteria. This is first, this is bacteria from the soil and second, this is bacteria that eat electricity <laughs> and uh, they found very interesting bacteria. They collected it from the soil and uh, they also made an animation about this bacteria, even a cartoon which you can find at the YouTube, and it's pretty fun. Uh, this bacteria can live not only in soil, but you see, it's how uh, it's uh, live and also light uh, from the light bubble. Very interesting. Uh, next, next, uh, which I found in the internet, um, which is rising and hot. It's about uh, two person. Uh, one of this is geologist, one of this is professional biologist. And together, when you make together geology, geography and biology, you will get nice soil signs. So they bought a house and the soil nearby their house was very poor and they, could not, they couldn't even um, make flowers, garden flowers. And they tried uh, to improve the soil and they made a really nice uh, website and very nice research about that and they uh, told the story how they improved uh, their soil from scratch uh, uh, time to time and after um, uh, a year or so of their uh, very big um, uh, very big work they had a very nice garden with flowers and with vegetables and so on. So very interesting and inspiring story. How normal person, person without special knowledge of soil science, but uh, with very big desire and information from internet, how they can improve soil by their hands. Uh, next interesting point which I found, this is a spe spectrum uh, spectrography, fluorence microscopy of fungi, also fungi from soil. And if you uh, was ever wondered how fungi in soil look like, this is exactly how they look like. Very nice, very cute and very beautiful, amazingly beautiful. They are very small, even <laughs> you cannot just find them, you see the soil, you have to use uh, a microscopy to, to see them. Uh, next, very interesting uh, point that climate change is discussing everywhere, almost everywhere. I see publications, I see a lot of videos, I see a lot of official meetings, conferences uh, on climate change. And climate change is still a very hot topic and everybody discuss what should we do. Uh, it's crazy, climate changing, blah, blah, blah. Very, a very big discussion. And now I found uh, on Reddit crazy, crazy thing about soil. Someone uh, who created a, a world, he make um, a website or whatever, he maybe create um, a game, I don't know. So he needs a soil scientist to create um, a, an Earth-like world. So uh, you can understand that soil scientist is very important person. 
he can create worlds i mean it's like a god so scientist is so important so um and this is a big story so you have to create a tectonic model and uh, to understand how civilizations will move and they use the soil in this world so uh, it's very cool that you know, soil scientists can apply their knowledge to such topics what i found more uh, if you're a soil scientist and you will go to monster monster is a very very popular website to um, search for a job you will find such jobs like soil and concrete laboratory manager for instance it's four days ago environmental manager soil scientist you will find a job for uh, environmental scientist geologist engineer you will find this uh, job like a staff environmental scientist and research scientist and i found a lot of jobs for soil science and this is cool because 10 years ago when i just graduated from uh, university in russia i was looking the same website and there was about 10 or 15 vac uh, vacancies with the title soil science it was not popular at all and now you can find a lot it's you see 611 jobs find for uh, title soil science so it's huge and you can find crazy cool job now but if you will come to russian website this is also a Russian website to, to uh, look for a uh, job. You will find only three vacancies right now uh, with titled Soil Science or Soil Scientist. Three vacancies, still okay. <laughs> you also can find some job. It's interesting. But it's more of uh, agronomist plus soil scientist. Uh, what else I found uh, very interesting for you? Uh, it's... Um, uh, soil science at reddit you can see that here uh, we see not much readers for now but still it's increasing and uh, let me show you oh here is a very interesting video uh, which i would like to show you uh, it's from nasa nasa created uh, can i make a video yes uh, they created a special complex uh, which um, they um, sent to Mars, so it's like uh, a machine, which it's, you see, Mars Pathfinder. So this machine, uh, they create a new, uh, a new part for this machine, which can uh, dig soil and, uh, and put it inside this machine. Why they did it? Uh, because they think that it is a nice idea to use um, to use, you see, to use in situ resource um, for uh, create a fuel for this machine from from uh, the soil which they can take from the Mars. This is the idea for the future. But now they creating uh, the mechanism which digging soil yeah, and put them inside. And also very fun idea which I've um, which I um, found recently last year at the University of Central Florida they create they created crazy thing they made um, a um, dirt uh, Mars dirt and they say uh, we created scientifically based on the standardized method to uh, make this dirt and uh, you can see how it looks like it's red color so uh, this d this dirt is uh, typically made the same like you can find at mars and it's not uh, only that they made this dirt they sell this dirt to the all the people who would like to conduct the experiments with mars uh, soil mars dirt and if you will visit their website here is a page where you can order uh, high uh, fidently regulated sim simulants and they already sold uh, more than 1000 kilograms to 28 countries up till now and the price for this soil is $20 per kilogram so if you would like to buy so soil from Mars which is exactly the same like you will find at Mars and I don't know what to do to make flowers with the soil or to make experiments. You can order it on this website. 
So guys, uh, a lot of interesting things is going on in the soil science right now. A lot of uh, Mars investigations. Um, if uh, also this is um, the website, uh, this is the publication about uh, Mars simulants, which I've told you recently. And here I opened um, the search results for Martian soils at Science Direct at uh, Web of Web of Science. Here's. Uh, one 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 at uh, all once more than thousand results about mars research right now very interesting topic and very very hot so guys that was it it's happening in the soil science soil science it's going forward and please let me know what uh, excites you most in what we discussed right now and do you have any other ideas uh, about interesting research in soil science See you in my next video, subscribe to Souls and channel and share this to your friends. They will be crazy excited, I promise you. See you in my next video, bye!